Hi guys, I am the Emotionally Stunted Emoticon and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the first entry in a video series entitled Questions to Creationists. Uh, basically, it's going to be me asking various questions to creationists about creation, um, evolution, and you know the origins debate in general. Uh, they're going to be unscripted. Again, it's just me asking questions and um, you know, seeing if anyone would actually answer those questions, you know, like either in video response or in the comment section. Uh, so that's basically what this series entails. Each question is relatively simple and easy to answer. Um, anyone is free to participate. So with no further ado, let's get the question started. So my first question would be going to Standing for Truth and Raw Matt. Uh, this question is, is in regards to orphan genes. Um, but before I get to the question, I would go over the argument, at least how it is presented by creationists. Um, creationists would argue that because orphan genes are, well, don't share any evolutionary homologs with other genes, it therefore means that whatever species or group of species that contains the orphan genes are unrelated to everything else and is therefore a created kind. Uh, for example, they would say that because humans have orphan genes that is not found in chimps and other apes, it therefore means that humans are not related to chimps and other apes, at least that's what the, the orphan genes indicate. And um, you know, they're their own separately created kind, that humans is a created kind. And they would further argue that this is a death blow to evolution. So that's pretty much how the argument for orphan genes go in relation to creation. However, I do have a problem with that argument in that we do find organisms that have orphan genes and is able to interbreed with other organisms that do not share those orphan genes. Uh, for example, Drosophila flies in the Obscura group. Um, there is a paper entitled The Life Cycle of Drosophila Orphan Genes. Well, the link would be in the description. And uh, that would show you the members of the, of the species within the Drosophila Obscura group. And would, that shows that some species would have orphan genes that others don't have. However, these species can hybridize. You, you can, you know, cross them. And the link would also be in the description where experiments were done crossing these species. So that's my problem with the argument that orphan genes indicate that organisms are unrelated. When we clearly have organisms that don't share orphan genes, that can bring forth. And according to creationists, if you are able to bring forth, then you should be the same kind. So I would just get on to the question now. Of the video. So my questions are, if orphan genes is an indication that species are not related or groups of organisms are not related, why do we find orphan genes in organisms that can interbreed with other organisms that do not share those orphan genes? For example, in Drosophila. And the second question would be, if this is allowed in creationism, whereby even though orphan genes is an indication that organisms are not related, yet we have related organisms not sharing orphan genes, how is this now a problem for evolution? Right, so that's uh, basically the two questions I had in regards to orphan genes. Uh, I may have more in regards to how you answer the question. I, I can't predict what the answers would be. But those are my questions and uh, anyone, again, feel free to answer. Um, thanks again for watching and have a good day.